Good morning, everybody, and uh, this is your S&P 500 day trade setup for today. So we have broken this trend line pretty aggressively and uh, not quite taken out or got to the level that I'm really paying attention to on this, which is 4100. Uh, that is the neckline of this big double bottom with diversions. So that is a bigger pattern that I'm waiting for on the eight hour. Uh, technically at the moment, we're obviously still in a downward trend. Uh, look at the moving averages, nothing really going on. Still going to be messy trying to get through these moving averages. So uh, I wouldn't say we have a confirmation of a bottom in just yet. This is kind of the area that I'm paying attention to, 4100. Um, and there's another train of thought as well where we, we need to start looking at rather 4300, which is up here, um, which we indicate a continuation to the upside. And if you look at the daily, where the daily oscillators are, they are fairly bullish at the moment. But, you know, this could be a bit of an exhaustion bar after what we've had the last couple of days. And this is the level that uh, we want to pay attention to, 4102. I uh, just want to get onto the weekly as well because we have... A complete different picture on the weekly brewing here so this is uh, a gap up and sort of a almost not quite an engulfing but uh, a, not even a piercing but anyway it's a, it's a bullish it's a bullish pattern you can see you know the sellers were in here then all of a sudden we had a gap up and we've run quite a few stops have been taken from this move to the downside so that's the first scenario then the second scenario here or first indicates and the second indication is that the oscillators are starting to cross over down here on the weekly. Um, not done yet, so it's still going to be a week or so before that happens, but that is the key. And then if you look to the left, you see this is the support area that we are, um, are looking to break again, so it's 41.02. So start coming down through the time frames and you start seeing a little bit of structure forming. So at the moment, on the 155 crossover of these lower moving averages, oscillators are all grip the upside. So not really conducive for a continuation. Maybe a short squirt up to this area before a, a deeper pullback. Um, and uh, pullback will, should be onto structure. And the first bit of structure is 4,000. So um, you know, if you look at this on the three hour, we've broken 4,000, but we haven't come back to test it. And you can see what happened previously. We broke it kind of hovered on it, broke up, try to come back to test it, the test failed and dropped. So a similar scenario here. So I suspect that that is something you need to keep penciled in on your charts for now, is the 4000 level. It is something which we are pivoting around, which basically means that um, buyers are seeing value there and the bears or sellers are seeing that as a line in the sand to break to the downside. So looking at the hour, we finally got crossovers of the moving averages yesterday, broke the trend line, didn't quite test it, and then we broke this area here. I'm not going to call that a, a retest, that's just uh, sort of bars hovering on the level. In actual fact, it was a bearish pattern, and you would have been looking for a break of that tail t for it to drop. But at the moment, strong move up, consolidation. Uh, I think this is your first target area, which is 4102. I'd expect some kind of rejection off there to come and test some structure to the downside. Uh, if you on the 15 minutes, um, you know, if we look at what happened yesterday, above the moving averages, to the bottom here, good indication. Look at this big engulfing bar here. Um, after a flag, it was formed. Another opportunity for a long. So there is so much structure here, indicating that you need to be moving to the upside. And if that continues today, which does look like it is going to happen, you need to be buying off structure. And uh, if I just fine tune that, there's my first area. That's 4013, 4000 obviously being another area. And then the next scenario is going to be uh, sort of that's the line in the sand to the downside, which is 4045. And if we break and retest that, then you're targeting this area here. And to the upside at the moment is going to be the current high of the morning. So break, retest, hold that, then you're looking for uh, 4100. So at the moment, you have 200 point stop losses for 350 point gain to the upside. 
and then on the downside probably the same 213 to almost 300 to the downside so a little bit better than one-to-one -one trades but i think that is the scenario we have at the moment just bear in mind the weekly is everything to play for right now bulls are looking for a weekly to close on its, on its uh, high bears are looking for a weekly um, reversal or pin bar closing below the open of the previous week so they're going to be looking to close below this area here which is 4,000. So they're looking for a close below 4,000. Bulls are looking for a close above 4,000. Breach this area to the upside on the higher time frames and hold it. That is an indication for me of a bottom and uh, that is where we will play that but I don't think it'll happen today. Anyway hope that helps and we will catch up with you next week on Monday morning. Enjoy the weekend and cheers for now.